Comet wanted to say hello to let you know that she's all better now. We went to see the dentist yesterday who had a look at you and she said, you are so good. You are healing much better now and no more trips to the vet. Yay! We're happy, aren't we? We're happy we don't have to go back to the vet. I've said to her that we're not, we're not going back to the vet until next October when they're both due their annual vaccines. So no more injuring, no more bad teeth, no more anything, please. And same for Stardust, wherever she's off to. Um, I go with Eastcott Vets. I am going to go on their website or Facebook page or something and do them a, a nice review because they have been really really good with her especially the um the two dentists that dealt with her they were just they were absolutely amazing i've had a very long day okay so bright in london and nightmare before christmas so stop fighting please stop fighting um so the concert was absolutely amazing um we weren't really sure what we were kind of expecting i thought it was either going to be like just just the music so the songs and music just going on around the film and there was going to be an orchestra doing that music and danny elfman was going to be there singing jack songs or it was going to be the film on like a big screen and again orchestra and danny elfman and so it was the latter so there, there was the stage where the orchestra was there was a big screen two smaller screens to the side and then a smaller one up at the front as well and so they, they played the film on that and the orchestra did all the music for the film and danny elfman was there doing jack skeleton Catherine o'hara was there doing sally and kane ken page was there doing oogie boogie so it was it was so amazing so like they started the whole thing off with the overture and they did some of the artwork that Tim Burton did for Nightmare Before Christmas way 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 back when and yep then they got into the film um we had an intermission and when we came back after the intermission they had this girl come out who's a violinist and she was all like dressed up and makeup and she looked really creepy but she looked amazing as well when she was like really really in character as some sort of like creepy demon -y thing it was like kind of dancing along the stage as she was playing a violin it, it really was incredible um dan recorded ken page doing oogie boogie so i might upload that i don't know what like copyright rules are but i mean i figure people do that all the time like people do it all the time on snapchat they go to gigs and record it and upload it so in theory it's okay did want to do some more videos while I was in London but I got um, a bit self-conscious and just kind of like lost my resolve about it um we went to this really nice outlet village that was next to Wembley Stadium and Wembley Arena we had a look around some shops that was nice there was like Christmas decorations it was really pretty um we went to a restaurant called Big Mo's that was basically like an American diner um the, the deco in there was like really really fun and quirky so I would have liked to have done a video just just to show inside the restaurant but like I said I got a bit self-conscious um but it's, it's a good restaurant the food was good the um service was a bit slow but at the same time they were yeah obviously busy they were serving people who like us had gone there to go and get something to eat before going to Nightmare Before Christmas we like we had this game actually while we were walking around Wembley and particularly the outlet village we were like looking for people who were blatantly going to this concert and so like typically it was people who were dressed in nightmare before Christmas attire so like t-shirts jackets I saw a girl wearing Jack Skeleton vans um, I saw another girl with a scarf that was patterned like Sally's dress um, Kieran bumped into her mate from school and she was like, are you going to the same thing I'm going to? And it's like, she didn't even need to say, like it was blatantly obvious what we were all there for. Um, I think two other people, Kieran 
Nose went and two friends of mine and Dan's went as well. Mm. Yeah, it was really, really good. Got home at like midnight because obviously we had to drive back to Brighton. But yeah, we, we had such a good time. Amazing. So glad we got to go to that. So good. Um. Oh, yeah. Um. So while I was doing my video in the arena um kieran said about calling my fans Ro rowanites um the the day before i had had a discussion with him my mum and her husband about the the whole agenda thing and about like wanting to change my name to rowan um and they were kind of the first people i'd mentioned it to with the exception of dan so when he said yesterday in the video, call your followers Rowanite, Rowanites, and I had to quickly go, oh, I've picked a name, the name's Rowan. That's kind of not how I'd have, I'd have liked to have done that, but no no disrespect to Kieran, it's not his fault, he didn't know. Um, talking to my mum, her husband and my brother was very, very spur of the moment. We'd, um, we just had dinner and I said to Dan, I want to talk to everybody, I want to tell them about picking a name and that was that um so yeah they were very very spare of the moment but i was i'd been thinking about it for the past few days and it was like i really like the name i, I should just go with it i should just say i would like to be called rowan mm. so i've texted my dad i've texted my sister i haven't told anyone else um i'm gonna change my name on youtube um I think I think I'll just change it on Facebook as well and kind of see if anybody notices rather than doing a video. I don't know if any of my Facebook friends are following me other than my sister and Dan. Maybe I should post it again and be like, hey, follow me. I do lots of random videos. Oh, I really need to get back into my knitting and then I can do knitting videos because I think that would be fun. That's fun. Do you want to see a trick I can do? I can touch my nose with my tongue. There you go. Okay, I'm going to go and chill and watch Final Space on Netflix. I don't know when my next video is going to be. I don't know what it's going to be about, but I'm sure we'll think of something. So, bye-bye for now.